everyone, it's me, Ex Canadensis, and yesterday I went on a little thrift hunt. Here's the footage. It's been a while since I went to this kid to kid in Buffalo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go through the kitty door. I'm a grown man. <laughs> doll moment. When you spot the dolls. What's the doll doing? Just gusty, casually sitting here. But this is the repro, so. The, I'm assuming the position. It's a big doll. Here you go, Gertie. I don't know you. What is going on with that shoe? Dang, it's all the same as last time in this bin, but maybe not that one. How long ago did you come here last? Huh? How long ago did you come here last? Oh, you what? Here last? <laughs> this is wave two, I think. Cool, with her stand. Gonna spare y'all the baby crying noise. Um, I found midnight after, which was really exciting. Oh, I think I jumped the gun a little, but... Here's a bunch of dolls. There were, it was weird. The other bin had nothing but old stuff. So I was really worried, but I mean like old stuff as in it's been at the store for a while. Um, and this bin had a lot of stuff that I've never seen before. So yay, much better. For some reason at the angle shoes, I thought that was a wingspan. I got so excited. Just I'm running out of space to study. She's pretty. I don't know who she is. So this bin is all the like newer ones, it's weird. It's like they were like, okay, Brooke's coming, we gotta separate them accordingly. There's more! There's a third, there's a fourth bin now! Oh boy. I thought we were done. What is this? Oh, the articulated knees one, yeah. So, I don't even know. Vampirina. Jewelry, Evie, but she's missing a lot of stuff. How do you have your bracelet but not your shoes? That doesn't make sense. An Olsen twin. This one. They're weaker when separated. It's a really pretty. But I'm so picky with Miss Barbara. So. I'm laying over my sister. Dude, my back hurts so bad. <laughs> I swear, like, stink. That's a whole force in the back when you're, like, complete. Oh, over here. So interesting. That's Miss Brittany Brittany. That's a Miley Cypress. One Direction? Maybe. <laughs> you should know. Why should I know? <laughs> I don't want to touch that. That's where I draw the line. Who are you? I'm intrigued. You're a maybe. This is a bootleg mini Monster High. I want it so bad, but they're charging $36 for it. Look at it. It has like all this stuff inside too. Oh, I want it. Ugh. I feel like the last time I was here, I got a Mile to Pony Castle and there was an Ouya. So things, things could be different. What do you think? We'll see. Savers. One of my last visits ever. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting anything when I walked up to this wall. It did look quite full, but it just looked like a lot of nude blonde Barbies and Disney princesses nude, like always, you know. But 
I found this bootleg Bratz doll, who I found very enchanting, so I picked her up. I don't know, there's just something about this one. She was, su she's like super cheapy, like poorly made, but she was entrancing. I don't know what to tell you. And then suddenly, oh, I freaked out. I was like, oh, no way. That's, yeah, <laughs> Cassandra. That is a grail for me. I couldn't believe it, especially with her outfit. I can't believe I found her. So excited. That is an Odette doll, and I was really tempted to get her, um, the Swan Princess, but... I decided to leave her because I do have one and I don't think that's her outfit. Okay, this doll perplexed me. I'll tell you more about her in the haul part of the video, but I've just never seen a doll that looked remotely like that before. So I was like, I'm going to pick you up. I did not notice that rebodied Claudine head. That is so weird. I have found rebodied 2010 um, brats too, which is weird because why would you rebody them onto a really good articulated body and then leave them? <gasps> oh my God, guys, I bought that Fluttershy. She didn't end up in the haul. Where did she go? I saw her before I started filming. That's so sad. I bought that Fluttershy, by the way. That, like, I'm telling you I bought her, I swear. Oh, that's so funny. What happened? <laughs> I think I moved her out of the way so that I could pick up the Trixieville dolls and I forgot. That was a bootleg Moxie Teen and I was... T Moxie Teen? No. Moxie Girls doll and I was tempted. There was something about that doll's chin that made me laugh. <laughs> that honest stuffed animal one. Um, I was tempted by that Moxie Girls bootleg, but I've seen her here before and I, I don't know. That is, I think her name is Aspen, and I decided to get, I think those fall, I do pick them up, but I think I had trouble, because I'm using one hand, yeah, I picked those up in a second, but I decided to get her, because she was a good price, and she had both of her hands, and I'll talk more about that later, I think that's Aspen, I don't remember though, um, but yeah, there's just like a, there's actually a decent variety here, they're just all kind of hidden, I can't imagine what the store looked like earlier this week, honestly, because there's just so much going on on this wall, um, but yeah, we've got, I see... This was interesting. She was really pretty, that Moxie Girls, but that's not her outfit, and I'm not in the business of looking for Moxie Girls clothes. I never find Moxie Girls clothes. This was an interesting bag. Let me know what that doll on the left is. Like, I don't have any idea. And then just some mini brats. Like, what is that doll? She's, like, weirdly familiar. And then we have an Equestria Girls reboot doll. Oh, yeah, I'm picking up the other Trixieville doll because she intrigued me. Shh, you're not supposed to know the name yet. I'll tell you later. Pinkie Pie from the newer Equestria Girls set, who I decided not to get because... I'm pretty sure I do have her. I packed all my Equestria Girl stuff. I think I have her incomplete. I don't remember. Um, yeah. That doll is very interesting. Let me know if you recognize her. She was a little strange. And then I pick everything up and put it back. See, I'm a good person. I dropped stuff once and someone left a really snarky comment. So anyway, I will show that I'm a decent human being and put things back. Okay, bye. Carol Hanger, and I love Jesus. Amen. Rainbow High and Jesus. Anyway. But I usually don't look at this wall, even though it has interesting stuff, but look. Two whole bags of Monster High accessories. <laughs> don't mind if I do. What the heck? Yeah, because I found the Dracula locker, and I thought it was weird that there's no Monster High dolls, but someone missed out on these, unfortunately. But not me. I got them. Hey, you live in Buffalo? Comment below about Amherst Buffet. Let me know. Let me know. It's the best restaurant in town. So I only went to two stores, but I ended up coming out with quite the haul and I'm very excited to share it with you guys. I actually did find a Grail doll, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so we're gonna get started. It's just gonna be in random order, except um, there's one thing that I'm specifically gonna show at the end just cause it's gonna be a lot of effort. So I'm just gonna reach down and grab the first thing, which is, ah, this was actually the first thing that we found, I believe. First, no, it might've been the second thing. Um, this is a Rainbow High Sunny doll with her stand, strangely enough. Um, so I found her at Kid to Kid and she was $7, which for a thrift store, that's not an amazing price for a used doll or anything, but for a Rainbow High doll, and I love customizing these, so um, the hair is not important to me. Uh, so that was a good deal in my book. Generally, I pay around like either retail or like 15-ish for a doll to do a custom with, so $7 is a great deal. And she came with her dress and her stand. Coming with the stand is like a big, 
I don't know. They never come with their stands secondhand. So that's pretty exciting. So this is not my third rainbow hide all that I found at a thrift store. I haven't checked their neck articulation. Okay. So this is a release two, Sunny. Yeah. Release two, Sunny. Good find. Her hair is like weird feeling. I don't know how to describe it. It's just like really messy, but it's also like not really that messy. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a restoration video if you guys want to see it, but eh, maybe I shouldn't say that because I'm moving soon, so that probably won't work. Anyway, the next doll feels like another kid to kid one. Ah, so this is Midnight. She was also $7, but it's an LOL OMG doll. So this was kind of an impulse one, I'm not going to lie to you because I, well, maybe she's just missing her shoes and then whatever jewelry she came with, but like that's good enough for me because I have plenty of shoes that should fit her. Um, and $7 is a decent price, I feel like, because the dolls retail for 30 ish now. Um, and she's super cute, and I'm really excited about her. Look at her makeup. She's so pretty. And I've been kind of, like, not buying OMGs as much recently. Um, so it's kind of cool to be able to get one of the newer ones. She's not, like, one of the newest ones or anything. She's been out for a while. But I'm really excited about her. Like, I really wanted her. And she she has most of her outfit. She's good enough to display for me. Obviously, I need to wash out her hair and fix it and stuff. But this doll's in really nice shape, too. I have a feeling she's from the same home as this one because, like, hair is barely touched has most of her stuff. Missing shoes though. Um, but another great find. I'm really excited about her and she's so pretty. I couldn't leave her behind. I did end up leaving behind the Miss Glam that I found just because like I have a Miss Glam that was actually sent to me. Thank you on hell. Uh, I love that doll but like I'm not sure if I needed another one for seven dollars you know. I was like mm, perhaps not. Anyway the next doll is so this doll is three dollars and Listen, I don't normally buy bootlegs. I actually like bootlegs and I have like a healthy collection of bootlegs uh, in my collect or, you know, in my collection I have, you know, a few and I like them, but generally when I find bootlegs in public, they don't have a lot of their stuff and this doll's like gross, so I'm not really gonna touch her too much. She needs to be washed really bad. She's like sticky, I guess. Um, but this doll had her like outfit and it looks like the outfit that she would have come with. So basically this is a bootleg brat. I actually really like the pants, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, and the shoes are like so strange. I think they're Mycene shoes maybe? Um, yeah, this doll is like gross, but look at her. So I have no idea which bootleg this is. It's probably just a random generic, like probably didn't have an actual name on the box because yeah, she's so sticky. But yeah, I thought she was amazing. So I had to get her since she was $3 and she had her outfit. I never find bootlegs like with their stuff generally. She's really like light, but yeah, she needs a really like deep washing. But I just thought she was an interesting one, you know? I wanted to bring her home. Look at her. She's gorgeous, right? She almost, like, her face is, like, almost tweevily. Almost. Um, but she has, like, reddish hair. Anyway, moving on to the next item. So this is one of my girls. She was $4, and I believe she's only missing shoes. Um, any accessories that she would have come with, I guess. But for me, just shoes. This is Cassandra from... Tangled the series and it's not the Hasbro doll. It's the Tangled the series like Disney store box set doll <laughs> I'm so stoked about this one I was so sad that I missed out on this pack for some reason I was just expecting that they would release it another one Um, they did do a two pack I think with like winter outfits or something But I never ended up getting that either so and I love Tangled the series So Cassandra was like a holy not like a holy holy grail like she's not worth that much money or anything but for me Something's a grill if it's too expensive for me to justify the purchase. So I believe this doll probably sells for like 50 bucks on eBay or something, which isn't that bad, I guess. But to me, for like a random Disney store doll, that's kind of a lot. So I'm not going to spend that much. So this was like a grail for me because I love the character so much and I'm act like I actively search for her. So I'm really excited that I found her. And with her outfit too, I would have bought her nude for $3, you know? Um, so this was a really cool find and I'm really, really stoked about her. I would love to find another version of Cassandra, but I'm just so grateful to have found this one because I love Tangled the Series and I love the Tangled the Series dolls. So this was like my favorite find of the day. I'm so excited about her. She's so cool. Sorry about Ronaldo. He gets excited that I'm talking. So now he's meowing. So if you can hear that, that's why. <laughs> um, but isn't she gorgeous? These dolls specifically, like I love the Hasbro ones. Don't get me wrong. I think they're gorgeous too. I have quite a few of them. But the, the like the Disney store ones are so so perfectly accurate to the art style from the show and it's such a beautiful art style and I have only one of the Disney store ones I have the just the action doll version like the she was just marketed as like Rapunzel with articulation and Brett actually got her for me for what year anniversary was that I feel like that was our 2017 anniversary maybe which was like our fourth anniversary I don't know she's just I love I love these dolls so I'm so excited to have Cassandra to go with her 
amazing find. I'm so excited. They're like absolute grail for me. Anyway, moving on along. This next doll. Okay, so this was a mystery doll. So I opened her already so that I could investigate. So I will report to you my findings. So this, I bought these because when I find a doll that's just kind of weird and I don't recognize her and she's not clearly bootleg, that's like alarming, right? Because I... <laughs> Not to like toot my own horn, but I know a lot about dolls. I have experience with so many dolls and not only ones in my collection, but I've seen so many dolls in other people's collections. So when I don't recognize a doll even a little bit, that's something. So when I saw this doll and her friend, who is right here, uh, and they were $4 each, and they had outfits, I was like, okay, we gotta take, we gotta get these because I'm very intrigued by them and they're cute. They're like very fairy looking. I was like, what is going on with these? And I think both of them are, this one's missing a wand and shoes and this one's missing shoes. So these are by Manhattan Toy Company, which makes Groovy Girls. And they definitely look the part. So these are from a line I think called Trixieville. And they're these little fairies and they're, oh, and they're missing their wings, but I can just make them some wings. So yeah, these are super interesting. They're not like rare or anything. I mean, I'm sure they're rare relatively, but they don't sell for a whole lot of money or anything. But I had never even heard of these, so I went on a little deep dive. I think there's only three that ever came out, so I have two of them. Pretty cool. So I'll probably just buy the other one if I ever find her for cheap. Um, yeah. But I thought these were pretty cool, so they're not really going to take a lot of work, but I'm going to fix them up and get them where they're going. I think these must have been, because of the way their bodies move and stuff, these must have been... It's the time period they came out in and the way their bodies move and their size and stuff. I think these must have been somehow supposed to compete with Winx. You know? It's, it's something. I don't even know how Manhattan Toy Company's, like, dolls were marketed. Were they even in stores? Like, I don't... Or, like, normal stores. Maybe they were in stores like Learning Express. I don't know. But these are very cool. Very, very interesting. And if you guys have experience with them, please let me know because I would be very um, interested to hear about that. But again anytime there's a doll line that I don't already know about that's that's alarming to me I don't know <laughs> anyway moving on our next doll was three dollars and this is a snap stars doll and I got her because if you guys remember I don't remember if I'm allowed to say your name but someone sent me this beautiful custom they made of Dawn and I believe I already packed Dawn yeah I already packed her unfortunately so I can't pull her out right now but uh, someone made me this absolutely beautiful Snap Stars custom doll, and um, since I've never seen a Snap Stars doll at a thrift store, but they have these amazing bodies. Like they're really articulated, and the the proportions are really cool too. Um, like I feel like this is a proportion that would actually go well with a lot of different dolls. So even if I <clears throat> absolutely butcher a custom, at least I have an option there because I can um, rebody a different doll on this body. But yeah, I just never seen one before. She had her hands and everything, so I was like, why not? I didn't know they had um, ankle articulation, actually. That's pretty cool. Yeah, just an interesting find. And for 3 or $4, works for me. All right, next. I almost left this. We have the Mycene Vespa, one of them. So I actually have um, I have the Monster High Ghoulia Scooter, which is just this. I have the Delancey, I think it's Miami Getaway, right? Is it German in Jamaica? The, the red one? Is it red? Wait. I can't remember anymore, but I have a scooter that belongs to Delancey, a Vespa. Um, and then this one, it's another Mycene one. I think this came with Barbie in like a multi-pack, but I think you could get other dolls with this one too. Um, oh, how funny. I was at the store like, is this Mycene? I don't know. It literally says Mycene Barbie right there. Well, that, that, that implies that this is Barbie's scooter, but I suppose it could be still like somebody else's. But anyway, a Vespa. It's beautiful. It has, you know... It's like functional and it was five dollars so I mean five's a bit much for a doll like <clears throat> for me when I say something's a lot of money I don't mean like if you found this on eBay five dollars wouldn't be a good deal because that would be a steal I mean like at a thrift store I don't know I don't know how to explain my thought process there too bad I already packed my mycenes that would have gone well with them although the the other mycene scooter was not packed with them I believe I think it's still in with all the other doll stuff um but anyway a great find. I was really teetering though because I had found so many other things already, but I ended up having a 20% off coupon, so worked out. I ended up saving quite a bit. All right, next. So this doll I got at Kid to Kid, and I have a vague familiarity with this doll, but something's tripping me up about her, so I'm not really sure. So she reminds me of Clara from the Nutcracker, but this is a Teresa doll, I believe. Is this another character from 
uh, the Nutcracker movie. Like, I don't remember this character. She was $4. The thing that's confusing me is her little headband. It just doesn't look um, like it's from that era, but her face and outfit are clearly of that, like, time period. Hell well, this could just be a different doll wearing this outfit, but I don't know. I'm gonna be really embarrassed when I Google it and figure out who this is, but I figured that I would pick her up because she looked vaguely like she went to a Barbie movie. I just, does she go to the Nutcracker or not? She probably, I don't think she's 12 Dancing Princesses, like she doesn't fit the vibe, but maybe, I don't know. Sorry, I'm not super familiar with like the heavy ballet inspired ones because I wasn't as into those as a kid and I haven't rewatched those in a long time. I feel like it's been probably like half a decade since I rewatched the Nutcracker movie. Um, so sorry about that. All right, the next two things that I have purchased. Also, please don't come for me for not knowing like Barbie dolls. Every time I make a thrift video and buy a Barbie and don't know who it is, people leave the strangest comments. Get a better hobby because doll collecting is not for you if you're this like bothered by somebody buying a thing that they don't know everything about. Like calm down. Anyway, I love how Sunny's just here. Um, okay, next I bought not one but two Monster High cases. So this is just one of those ones that you could buy like Toys R Us. I don't know if this one was marketed as something specific but it's cardboard. I have a couple more of like these cases that are made out of this type of material and they're just awful quality. Like this one's already ripped in two spots but this one I feel like I could repair. Like I could um glue that back or tape it back or put something inside to like hold it together um and then it would be good as new and it would be really good for storing stuff and it's cute to display like I like functional things like this which it's like oh it's cute merch and I can store stuff in it like that's awesome and it has this really cute like zipper detail that's actually a zipper um and it's made out of cardboard with like a plastic coating of some sort and it was two dollars that was the main thing also this cute like plastic chain and then it has some spots to store three dolls which you could fit way more in here than three um and we have some art of our girls this is mostly like alternate oh i love that Leah's on a stack of comic books she would never do that though she would never do that she would never put her comics in harm's way very cute though well it's three dead fast comics and then a bunch of textbooks but anyway and then these are like alternate art. I feel like I feel like that's an early Claudine, but the rest is kind of alternate. So I feel like this probably came out around 2014, maybe. But anyway, this is really cute. So I had to get it. Maybe 2013, actually. I feel like I got some cases at Toys R Us that are similar. Well, they're they're like big square, like suitcase style ones. They are ruined. I destroyed them, taking them back and forth um, from my dad's house and back. All right. And then I was very confused because I also found this other Monster High thing. And there's something inside that I'll get to in a second. So. This is the Dracula locker, which I don't have, but I wouldn't have gotten it if it was empty. It was $3 though, which is a good deal. And when I opened it up, sorry, there's something in there, but that it didn't come with it. When I opened it up, it came with four, I think, of the hangers. Yeah, there's two up here and then two down here. Maybe there's a drawer missing from here. I don't think so though. And then it also had Count Fabulous still in here and you can slide him out. So yeah, Count Fabulous. And it has like the drawers and the hangers. So I just thought this was a great deal considering how much you get. And it was $2.99, and it's a playset that I don't have, and it's also something that will function as storage and display. It's very cute. Like, I can put any fashion packs that I get, like, hanging up in there. Obviously, like, Dracula or fashion packs. And then I was very confused because I saw these two Monster High things and then Nightmare, and I already have Nightmare. Like, I don't need another one. I see Nightmare at thrift stores relatively frequently, though, but I found these in a completely different section you saw in the video i found these in like the houseware section and i always kind of glance at that wall but i never really find anything so i kind of stopped doing that and i'm glad that i just so happened to do it today because i found these two bags completely full of monster high accessories and they were five dollars per bag which is kind of a lot but monster high accessories are like not easy to find secondhand so it was worth it to me so let's get in I'm not going to be able to identify anything that I don't have or I'm not super familiar with, but it's still going to be cool to be able to look through here. Ooh, already some really... There's earrings in here! What the heck? <gasps> I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, so we have... This is probably for the Dracula locker, but I don't know for sure, but obviously it's Dracula's um, umbrella. And then Viperine's boots, both of them, to the signature Viperine doll. And then we have Dracubecca's little umbrella. Hopefully we find the other piece to this because I'm pretty sure I don't have Dracubecca's umbrella because I got that doll second hand. Blondie Locks purse from Ever After High. I don't know what this goes to. We've got, it's monster. Is this from like a fashion pack? This is a casket ball. <laughs> um, 
Halloween dance class shoes. I love these little shoes. They're so cute. This is from the... Someone must have had a major Monster High doll at that thrift store. I'm serious. This is from... Um, what is that? Oh my god. Zombie Shake. Either one of the twins, Persephone or Meality. This is Signature Ashland's shoe. This is Cupid's bow from Ever After High. Bow and arrows. I think this goes to... Ghoul's Rule Abbey, maybe? This goes to... Ghoul's Night Out for Shell, I think. Um, I'm not actually sure what this is. Yeah, I can't even tell. Um, this thing. <laughs> and then this goes to, I think Elizabeth came with this. Pride's Camera Action Elizabeth. This is an Ever After High brush. So we have a Royal brush and then a Rebel brush. And then this is from Boo York. <laughs> One of the Boo York dolls. This is not Monster High. Is this to Dracu Becca? Did she have wings? I literally didn't know that. I don't think mine has wings. Wait, doesn't she have something? I don't actually 100% know what these go to. They're cute. They're very cute. I have no idea though. Um, this is Viperine's sunglasses, which is pretty cool. Ashlyn's purse. I'm, I'm like really impressed with myself right now. Ooh, I don't know whose diary this is, but this probably goes to one of the, um, who came with these? Ghoul's Night Out? No, they came with phones. I don't remember who those go to. Twyla's signature shoe or 13 Wishes. This goes to a Spectra fashion pack, I think. I think, I know it's Spectra. This is like a wink shoe, but it's not. I guess this is Dracula's, but this is so similar to a wink shoe. I don't know what Dracula that goes to. This is Skull Shores Dracula though. This, oh cute. Is that 13 Wishes, or oh my god, 1600 Dracula? I don't know. Probably Spectra, but I don't know. Which one? This shoe I also don't recognize. These are from, or this, I guess there's only one. Ooh. Oh no, sweet. This is New Scaremaster Jennifer, which is really exciting because god, I want that doll. She's so pretty. Score, I think it's New Scaremaster anyway. It could be uh, Gloom and Bloom, I guess. I feel like I have this belt, but, or is it a belt? I don't remember what this is. I, I have this, I'm pretty sure, but I could be wrong, but something, probably Cleo, if I had to guess. I'm not really sure what this is. It looks like an eye coffin case, but it's not. I don't know. I also don't know what this is, little, I think these go to the school maybe, because there's also the locks from the lockers, which I'm thinking go to the school playset, because I thought I saw a gargoyle earlier too. But these are awesome. These are a score to get the locks. Um, oh, Periwinkle shoe. I think this is the Jack Specific size. Not 100% sure. We got a Rochelle wing, but I think we only have one. Rochelle, I said that weird. Viperine's makeup palette. Like, this is all <laughs> Jane Boolittle. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I'm sorry. Um, shoot. Which Laguna is this? I don't think I have this one. Ooh, Skull Shores 5-pack Cleo. This isn't Abby, but I don't have this. Or no, is this um, Ghoul's Rule again? I don't know. I feel like I never paid attention to her shoes. I do have Ghoul's Rule Abby. That's a really cute shoe. This is a corner. <laughs> what if this goes to this? It fits. I don't know if this goes to this, but if it does, that is hilarious. God, I wish I was there when these dolls were there. Ooh, I think these go to Scaritage Skeleta. And there's also a purse. Right? Oh, the other shoe for that bow shoe set. Oh, I guess these could have came to, with the Draculocker, huh? See, I think this is the book that the gargoyles read that are on the original school playset. That's my final answer. I don't know whose crown this is, but it's made out of like a harder plastic material that Monster High didn't normally use, but it could still be Monster High. Another Periwinkle shoe. God, I wish I was there when all this stuff got donated, but I'm very grateful that I got what I got because like, wow. This is a basket of apples. I don't think this goes to Monster High again because it's made out of ABS plastic. And the Monster High team was really good about not using that. Costa Fierce microphone. Twyla's signature purse. Um, we've got Laguna's picture day thing, I think. I think picture day came with these. Um, we have some Jennifer earrings. We have both of them. So this probably goes to this Jennifer. If I had to guess. Man, too bad the clothes aren't in here. That would be crazy. Um, I wonder if we have the lid to this. I don't know. But this is a Maddie's signature, or first chapter, I guess I should say. 
shoes and purse. This is like a makeup palette, probably from Ghoul's Night Out Rochelle. Did, what did I say earlier? I meant Ghoul's Night Out, whatever I said. This goes to Ghoul's Rule Dracula, maybe? I don't know. I bought her secondhand. Or no, yeah, I bought her. No idea who these go to either. Maybe the Scaredage um, Skeleta? I don't know. That's Twyla's belt. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, come back. It was like a hat box. What the heck was that? Um, these probably go to a briar, but I don't know which one. Maybe, um, <sighs> getting fairest. This is something. I don't know what it is. Like, I actually have never seen this before in my life. Little green box with, like, a keyhole. Oh, hello. Classroom Laguna. So I guess those lockers could be from the classroom sets. I loved this accessory when I was a kid. Another Ashlyn Ellis signature shoe. First chapter, same thing. A little pie from one of the Monster High play sets. A tiny little braided belt. I don't know who this goes. I think it's Ever After High, but I'm not sure. Oh, I think that's actually Jennifer again. I think that goes to this Jennifer. Zombie Shake. I don't know what this goes to, but it's like a little thing. <laughs> this I have. I think it goes to um, Fusion Inspired Frankie, but I don't remember. Um, no idea. Probably Venus, if I had to guess. Maybe, I don't know. Um, another Twyla signature shoe. This, oh, hello, it's the Comet Crystal from Boo York. Oh, that's sweet. Oh my God, if we get Nefra's shoes and like maybe her middle piece, I will cry because I really need those pieces. Oh, I hope so. Oh, now I'm like nervous. Really cute bag. That is vaguely familiar to me, but I don't know. This is a really cute shoe. Oh, is this, um, no, it's not Claudine School Shores, is it? I don't think so, because. Oh, it is. Yeah, I have School Shores Claudine shoe right here. Yeah, so this is School Shores Claudine shoe. I love School Shores Claudine so much. I don't know what this is, but it has butterflies on it. It's very cute. Probably not Monster High in that case. What is this? Is this a little curler with curling paper? <laughs> or like, is it called end paper, I think? This is a tiny little heart bracelet. Let me know if you know what that goes to. It's a little purple. Well, hairbrush, I don't think that's Monster High or Ever After High, but maybe. This is Dra Dracu Becca again, which is, I don't think I have her earrings, so that's a score. I just packed my Monster High dolls too, so I could have checked if I hadn't, but. Oh, Sh Skull Shores Claudine's other shoe. The jar for that frog the lid to it but I don't have the jar itself but that's okay pretty cool I mean it could be in here <laughs> Katrine Scaris purse Ooh, cute whose shoe is this I'm assuming Draculaura but I don't recognize this shoe it's really cute I hope we get the pair because that is darling Ooh, really cute do we have the pair I hope so this really cute black shoe with like spider webs I don't know what that goes to this is um Skull Shores 5 pack Frankie we have a hand, a Draculaura hand, I think. No, Draculauras tend to be like posed, right? Is this um, Create a Monster Vampire? Spectra of some sort. Lala Lupsy? <laughs> when you hear the school bell ring, it's all right. This is a Boo York brush. Um, this is to Honey Swamp, I think. I think. Well, there's stuff shoved in here that will never come out, but this, I think, would probably be what actually goes with Ghoul's, Ghoul's Rule Dracula, because I feel like Cleo came with the same thing, so I don't know where this coffin or um, cauldron purse came from. Coffin Brook. I think we saw the other one of this shoe earlier. Jane Bulittle. A lot of chain pieces. I don't know what they go to. We have Maddie's first chapter doll's little glove bracelet thing. Oh, and the lid to the purse. We only have one glove bracelet thing, but that's okay. Another curler with end paper. Skull Shores at Dracula's other shoe. I am missing so many of these, so this is a godsend to get this. There's so many cool pieces in here. Another Skull Shores five pack Frankie. Oh my god. <laughs> Maddie's first chapter necklace. I, I wonder if her earrings are in here too. What were they? They weren't. These are um hairbrushes, so I imagine these go to Holly. I don't remember, though. I would take my Ever After High Dolls earrings off immediately and put them in a bin, so I never really noticed them. Really cute Cleo, probably Cleo Lies purse. Don't remember. 
Oh, God. Ah, I was like, I think this is Winx, but I'm not sure. It says Viacom on it. So, yeah, this goes to the Speedix Bloom fashion pack. Oh, how funny. This goes to um, Cupid's Ever After High <laughs> headband. No idea what this is. Zero. Coffin bean, maybe? I don't know. This is very cute. I don't know who this goes to. More little foods and liquids. Ta-da. <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry, I'm having so much fun. This stuff smells like cigarettes, huh? Yeah, ooh, it's really strong, actually. <laughs> Peas. And I won't eat them, Dean. This camera from one of the Price Camera Action Dolls. Cole Claudia was the script writer. Viperine was the makeup artist. Elizabeth was the star. So I think Honey also was... Did Honey come with these? Or is this camera from somebody else? I don't... Because I don't recognize this camera. I don't know. Um, another belt. No idea who it goes to. Not even a little bit. Gigi. And there's also Gigi's earrings, which is awesome because I'm pretty sure mine are missing. They've been missing for a long time. We've got a little tiny, like, hair clip. Like, that you would use when you're, like, styling a wig, I feel like. I feel like this came with Poppy O'Hare, but I don't know. Honey Swamp's belt, I think. Cup. Um, I do not know. Let me know if you do. All right, we have a bunch of small stuff. So we have a Viperine piece. We have this tiny little, oh, this is so cute. I wonder what this is. There's so much hair in here. This is really cute, little spiral earring. These are Frankie earrings, probably haunt the Casbah if I had to guess, but I don't know. This is some kind of tiny little perfume. Like this is crazy that all this stuff is in here. After all this time, it made it to Savers and still got to be in one piece and delivered safely to my home. I appreciate it. This is a little key earring and I have no idea who this goes to. It's really cute. I wish there was another one. Hopefully there will be. I don't know what this is. It's cute. I don't know what this is either. Don't know. I don't know a lot of these pieces. Did um, the Werecat Twins zombie shake dolls come with chokers? I actually don't remember. Um, usually I remember pretty well. Oh, I know this earring. Maybe it's from um, Gulia Sweet Screams. If so, great, because I'm missing her earrings, but I don't think that's right. I think I'm wrong. Is that one of those curlers without the, the other piece on it? Um, and then we have some operetta earrings. I don't know which one, but cool. Little dead fish earring. I also... Oh, that goes to one of the zombie shake wear cat twins too, I think. Little... Oh, does this go with this maybe? Like that would kind of work, but I don't... The colors are wrong. Jane Boolittle earring and the other one. Sweet. Both earrings for Jane Boolittle. We got a lot of Jane Boolittle stuff. It's tiny, tiny. Like how are you... How did this manage this itty bitty bracelet? No idea who it goes to. It's pink and it has three tiers. And then we've got some spoons. I don't know who that goes to. Skull Shores Draculaura bracelet. This is so cute. No idea who it goes to though. Um, this is a plate for one of the like drinks or foods. Probably. We have, oh my God, I have this one. Who does this go to? Oh no. I recognize it. It's a rib cage earring. I, I have this. I have the doll that it goes to, but I don't remember who it is. I also don't know this one. Probably Spectra because of the color, but I don't know. I don't have this earring. Deuce from the Manster's pack, I think. No, this goes to Scarus Deuce, I think. No. Yeah, but I put it on my Manster's Deuce because he has the shirt. This is a poking stick of some sort. Another one of those plates. Another one of those locks. And this thing. I don't know what it is. Next. Another bag, another whole bag. I think I already see oh sweet, there's a music festival um thing in here. I don't have the music festival necklace. Hmm. I want all of this out of the way so they don't get mixed together, but you know what, we'll just do it like this. So this goes to River Sticks. This also goes to River Sticks. Oh, this is a different shoe. Oh. Is this a Holt or a Heath shoe? Either way, cool, because I don't have either of them. From what was that? line called ghoul spirit maybe wait i don't remember um ghoul's rule abbey maybe i'm not as familiar with that all as i think i am what is this i don't know what this is it looks like giant sunglasses doesn't it 
I really don't know what this is. Okay, I don't... It's Monster High for sure. This is a royal key. This is... I feel like this came with the coffin bean or something. And where did this come from? It's a giant Gigi... Or not specifically for Gigi, but a giant lamp. Which is the same mold as Gigi's, but it's huge. Like, what did this come with? I don't know. Oh, another one of those shoes. Don't these... Se these seem weirdly big to me, but they're, they're like the same actual foot size as a normal... Monster High doll, right? I don't know. This is a really cute shoe, though. I don't know who it goes to. This must go to the school as a gargoyle on a pedestal. That's pretty cool. If not the school, then just another place that I don't know. Um, there's something... Oh, another one of those curlers. <laughs> and really cute Rochelle purse. Operetta purse. This is so crazy. Cupid, Ever After High. Cerise. Either Rebecca or Dr. Becca. I don't remember. What is this? Is this Poppy O'Hare maybe? I don't remember this piece. Maybe mine's not wearing it. Ever After High black um, comb. Another one of those little trapper keepers, but it doesn't have the skelettes on it at all. It's completely featureless, which is kind of strange. Um, is it Abby School's ruler or am I like just completely wrong? Like, I don't know. Um, I don't know. River. River sticks. That goes to Scared to Scalita, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this is so cool. Now I can get that doll with just her dress and be complete. This is one of the chairs to one of the playsets, but only the chair part. Ooh, this is from... It's, I think, Mercedes Gala Ghoul Friends, but I don't remember. Dance class Halloween. Mine has not worn that in years. Don't remember whose comb this is, but ever after high of some sort. Dance class Rebecca, maybe? No idea on the purse. Black Carpet Laguna, I think. Jane. No idea. Not good with sunglasses in general. One of the play sets. This is really cute. I've seen this before, but I'm not sure who it goes to. Um, this I'm so excited about. This is Music Festival. All of them come with this, but I don't have any, so this is great. I mean, I think they all come with this anyway. Cerise. The signature one. That's not Monster High, I don't think. I don't know. Ooh, okay. That Jennifer's bag. And... Oh, that's the, <laughs> the screenplay that comes with Claudia. That's the camera that comes with Honey Swamp. So what was the other camera? That is Gigi's pet Sultan Sting, I think? Skull Shore's Dracula's hat, which I think mine actually came off of this a long time ago, so this is great find. So many things I'm actually going to be able to use. This is Cupid's headband, and we found the heart that goes to it earlier. See, this is so crazy. Ever After High. This goes to the hair piece for Meality and Persephone from Zombie Shake. Blue York. God, the Blue York dolls would have been so cool to find at Savers. Black comb. There's scissors in my lap. Scaredage Skeleta shoe. I oh, Yes, we have both. See, this is awesome. Probably a Venus doll, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a Torolai. This is Nephra's headpiece, which I think I actually have. I'm just missing her shoes, which don't seem to be in here, which is a shame. Jane Boolittle. The other Abby shoe. These are gorgeous. Viperine's makeup kit. Scaris Deuce. Ever After High brushes. So many Ever After High brushes. Another Werecat twin purse. Maddie's headpiece. The other Rochelle wings. So we have a pair of Rochelle wings, which is great for if I find one at a thrift store and she doesn't have her wings. Another lock from one of the lockers. Zombie Shake shoe. I don't recognize that one. Maybe Briar. A stew. Dracubecca most likely. Ooh. I recognize this. I'm trying to like visualize where it goes. I'm pretty sure... I don't remember what doll exactly, unfortunately. This is a ring of some sort. Looks like it went with a Mattel Frozen doll, actually. I think. I'm not sure. That goes to the original school play set. I, I mean, I'm 99% sure. That is Dance Class Halloween. It's crazy that, like, all of the accessories for each of these dolls are in, in here. Like, I feel bad for the person who got the other thing. Are these the goggles from... Oh my god, who do these go to? I feel like I have these, but I don't 100% know. Maybe not Monster High. Maybe that's what's tripping me up. But the size is right, so I don't know. Um, shoot. I recognize this piece, but I don't have 
whatever it goes to. I think it goes to a playset. I don't know. We have the pair for the other shoe from the other bag. The pair, oh my gosh, for Skull Shores Cleo. This goes to Hattastic Ab uh, Abby, oh my god, Apple. Jane Boolittle. Scaris Katrine. No idea. Some more of those just random pulls. That's probably Cleo Lai. I don't know, but I think we had that earlier. And a River Sticks shoe piece. And all of that was 10 US dollars. And I consider that a steal. That is a lot of Monster High stuff. A lot to dolls that I don't have, a lot to dolls that I do have. Um, I'm very excited about all of it. And yeah, that's it for this thrift time. A very successful one. I feel like I haven't, like I've been to the thrift store a couple times since the last video, but I just haven't found anything. So I'm really excited that I found all this stuff and I can't wait to inaugurate them all into my collection. Unfortunately, um, we are moving in like the next week and a half. Well, I'm not, um, Brett will be. So, <laughs> you know, it all has to be packed soon. So all this stuff is probably just going straight in a box and going. Um, as you can see, the situation behind me is dire because we just got to pack up and go. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know if you recognize any of this stuff or if you have any like specific memories with anything. As always in the thrift videos, I love to hear about that kind of stuff. And I'm very excited about everything I found. Everything I found is going to have a great place in my collection. And especially the Monster High accessories, I'm stoked about um so many of these are either dolls that I had when I was a teenager and have lost accessories to or like a complete set of hard to find accessories for a doll that I don't have yet like um I think that's new Scaremaster Jennifer but I'm not 100% sure but I think so because I remember these Jade Foo Dog shoes like really well and wanting them so bad but never getting the doll that they go to um because I had that like one doll of each character rule which was didn't work for me clearly <laughs> it did not serve me well but um yeah that's it for this video. For real this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye!